The National Health Scholars Programme is the brainchild of a collaboration between the Department of Health, the Public Health Enhancement Fund, the South African Medical Research Council and the National Health Research Committee. It aims to contribute positively towards efforts to strengthen and accelerate progress towards equity in research capacity development of all young scientists across South Africa. Where appropriate, priority is given to hitherto underrepresented designated groups, institutions and research tracks. To date, 54 scholars have been funded. The impressive success rate is standing at five successfully completed degrees, including four PhDs and one master's degree. It was helpful that I finished, it, the funding helped me to finish on time, more than anything, because I would have had to quit the full-time bit in work whilst I'm writing, it's not so easy. My name is Brian Orwood, I'm a consultant pulmonologist working at Tigerberg Hospital in the Department of Medicine. I've just completed my PhD, graduated 2014 from UCT, uh, looking at the association between TB and COPD, which is basically emphysema. My name is Maluta Steven Mufamati. I completed my PhD with a, a National Health Scholar Programs, and I'm currently a nanotech specialist. My study was between looking at the link between TB and COPD, which is emphysema. And emphysema has traditionally been thought to be due to smoking-related diseases and a couple of other things. And we've had a look at actually been able to show that, that the airflow obstruction occurs after you've had TB as well. I'm, I'm currently uh, a director in my own company, which is um, called Nambio. I started to get a scholarship in 2013. For me, coming from a, a rural area and with a very, 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 very uh, disadvantaged uh, background, if if I want to see the change in in my village, I wanted to, I wanted to be that ambassador of my village to show people that it won't matter where you come from. What matters is what you really want to achieve as a person. Uh, it was a great opportunity for fun particularly for funding, mm -hmm. made life so much easier. Well, there are not a lot of PhD full-time grants, so to, to be able to, to get a full-time grant, it's, a, it's quite, a, quite a competitive pool, so, so to be privileged enough to actually be awarded one is very, really great. Because you know with deaf people, if they came to you sick as a doctor, a pharmacist, would you know how to help them? Yeah, that's, that's the essence of this study. Whether TB causes COPD is um, been quite argued quite a lot in the world, with uh, people in the West generally arguing that it doesn't cause COPD and people in, in, in countries like ours say that it does cause COPD. So there's definitely an association and the question was, was it the same disease or is it actually a different disease? And it really looks like it's a slightly different disease or a subgroup of COPD, that's what our conclusions of the study were. So after you've had an episode of TB, a lot of people have got very, very damaged lungs and um, this is one of, the, one of the ways that the damaged lungs can can present like an in, in emphysema or COPD-like picture. Yeah. So what we did was we actually looked at the disease mechanisms. What actually do we think is going on from a physiology point of view, from a radiology point of view, and try to put it all together. And we do think it's slightly different from, um, from smoking-related disease. Somebody once said to me that the P in PhD stands for perseverance and just plot on. And uh, yeah, it can be a very laborious and difficult and soul-destroying at times process, but it's a good and getting to the other side is well worth it. I will recommend National Health Scholar Program to other students because I see that majority of our of South African, particularly people who are, are coming from disadvantaged background, they have a lot of burden to take care for the family, for their brothers and their, their, and all those kind of things. I feel like uh, having a scholar like this one, which sort of like, it doesn't really take away completely your your level of, uh, of, a, of a finance that you're probably getting as employed, because you get enough money that you can able to help you to still continue with your, your lifestyles. I don't think there's any other program that's as good as this, that's as well-funded as this. So I would recommend it to you any other health professional.